Hey guys, it's Mrs. Alry again. Uh, what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to go over 2.0 examples of mole calculations. So uh, practice problems one through three. And then I'm also going to go over practice problem number four, which is a 3.0 in this set of problems. So the first thing we're going to do is it says how many silver um, atoms are there in 6.0 moles? So I always figure out what am I starting with. So this is my start. And then it's asking me to end with number of atoms. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to start with moles. So I'm going to start with my starting value, 6.0 moles. And then I'm going to do what I call times in a line to set up my ratio. Whatever unit I want to go or get rid of, I'm going to put on the bottom. So I'm going to put moles on the bottom because I want that to go away. And I want to get to atoms, so I'm going to put atoms on top. So a conversion factor that I know is that one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. So that's Avogadro's number that we just learned about. So then all I need to do is put this into my calculator. And this is probably the trickiest part is how to enter this properly into the calculator. So what I'm going to do is that you type 6. Let's make sure we can see it. Um, and then I'm going to type times, and then I'm going to type 6.02, and then I'm going to use this button here, second E23, and when I do that, I'm going to hit uh, divided by 1, so divided by 1, then I'm going to hit enter, and my answer comes out to 3.61 uh, times 10 to the 24th, and my units, moles went away, so that's going to be atoms. So now I'm going to do my next problem. It says, what is the mass of 0.75 moles of nitrogen gas? So I want to know mass, which is going to be grams, and I have moles to begin with. Okay, so uh, this is my starting. So I'm going to take my 0 0.75 moles, and I want moles to go away. So I'm going to go times in a line, and if I want moles to go away, I'm going to put moles on the bottom, and I'm trying to get to grams. So for this, um, I'm going to have to look at my periodic table. So um, the periodic table tells me the mass of one mole of everything. Okay, So all of these masses are equal to one mole. And so I'm going to look for nitrogen. And nitrogen's right here, and its mass is 14.01. Okay, So one nitrogen is equal to 14.01. But my formula here is N2, so there's two of them. So I'm going to take another nitrogen, which is also 14.01, it's going to be 28.02 grams. And I had to do this because this is N2. So one mole of N2 gas is going to have a mass of 28.02 grams. Now what I need to do is I'm going to put that into my calculator. And the way that I type that in, this one's a little easier because we don't have Avogadro's number, no scientific notation. So 0.75 times 28.02 divided by 1, I hit enter, and my answer comes out to 21.0 grams of N2 gas. So that is practice problem uh, number two. So let's go on to practice problem number three. Number three, it says, how many moles are there in 100 grams of hydrogen gas? So um, my starting value is 100 grams, and I'm looking for number of moles. So I'm going to take my 100 grams, and that's of hydrogen, which is H2. I'm going to do times in a line to set up my ratio. I want to get rid of grams, so grams are going to go on the bottom. And I want to get to moles, so I'm going to put moles on top. So uh, one mole is equal to a certain number of grams, which I'm going to see in the periodic table. So hydrogen is right here, and its mass is 1.008, so I call it 1.01. .01. So hydrogen has a mass of 1.01 grams per mole. But this is H2, which means we have two hydrogens, so I'm going to do hydrogen again. So um, my mass is going to come out to 2.02 grams. So one hydrogen would be 1.01. .01, so one mole of hydrogen would be 1.01. .01, but this is H2, so we have two hydrogens in there. So that's going to be 2.02. .02. And so I'm going to put this into my calculator. And when I go to type this, I'm going to type 100 
times 1 divided by 2.02. .02. And once I do that, I get um, 49.5 moles of H2. So there's my answer. Now this last one, uh, question number four, this is a 3.0 problem. So it has a little bit more involved with it. So um, it says, what is the mass of this many molecules of oxygen gas? So this is going to take two steps. I'm actually going to convert my um, molecules. And then I'm going to convert that to moles. Moles are always in the middle. So molecules to moles, and then I'm going to go to mass, which is in grams. So I'm going to set up my problem. My starting value is 3.5 times 10 to the 23rd, and that's molecules. I'm going to abbreviate that as Qs. Okay, um, and I'm going to do times in a line, and I want molecules to go away, so I'm going to put Qs on the bottom, and I want to get to moles, so I'm going to put moles on top. So one mole we learned was equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Um, so I'm going to put that into my calculator first. And the way that I would type that is, let's see so you can see it, I would type 3.5 second E 23 times 1 divided by 6.02 second E 23. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to get 0.58139. I'm going to try and not round quite yet. 53 um, and that's going to be moles. Now that I have moles, I need to get my mass. So that's going to be my final step. So I'm going to take this number 0.58139. Three moles and I'm going to set up my next step. I'm going to do times in a line and I want to get rid of moles. I'm going to get to grams. So I know one mole has a certain mass and I've got oxygen. So I'm going to look at my periodic table. Oxygen has a mass of 16. So oxygen has a mass of 16. However, this is O2, so there's two oxygens there. So another oxygen would be 16 as well for a total of 32 grams. So I'm going to go ahead and say that one mole of O2 gas is equal to 32.00 grams. So that number is still living in my calculator from earlier. I didn't hit delete. That's probably the best case scenario. So all I'm going to do is hit times and you're going to see that it says ANS. ANS means answer, so it's kept my answer from before. I'm going to go times 32, which is my top number, divided by 1, and I'm going to hit enter, and I get 18.6. And that's going to be grams of O2 is my answer. Okay, so those are practice problems 1 through 4.